Okay, so here we have the Sony Ericsson Xperia X Mini Pro. It's a budget Android device. As you can see, it has a slide out keyboard. It's a small 3 inch screen, 480 by 320 HVJ resolution, and HD camera along with flash, 5 megapixels, autofocus, as well as a front facing camera. So, this is not something you typically see on Android budget Android devices. So I had a quick play around with it, it's pretty interesting. Um, the video does autofocus while recording, which is great. So you can actually take videos as well as you can take macro videos as well. So on the top here you have a shutter button, camera or shutter button, um, volume buttons, headphone jack, micro USB port, power buttons, Nothing on the left hand side, nothing on the bottom, and just a camera with flash at the back. The front, capacitive buttons, and a nice physical home button here. Um, as I mentioned before, there was a, I guess, at the proximity sensor as well as the, the front facing camera and the slide out keyboard. So this is running Android 2.0. The Gingerbread, which is the latest version, which is great because it has things like the new text selection. So you can actually have the little cursor there to select text. If you want to highlight more, you can select a word and use this to actually select words in better detail. So, in terms of available storage, you can see this is fresh out of the box and installed a few applications that has 267 megabytes available. So it's not exactly ideal but it is a budget device and it's, it's quite a lot actually since especially you can transfer um, apps to the SD card. In terms of video playback, I tested it play 720p H.264 files in MP4 format but I think this is a very good device available here at Incom. Um, I believe the price is 379 on 378 online. So you can take a look at that there. Um, it has some a different interface. I believe this is the Sony Timescape of the Sony interface that they have. Four buttons, the, four buttons at each corner, which you can change accordingly. Few buttons on the home screen. So this is the app launcher. So the slide scrolling. Let's take a look at the camera application. So as you can see here, it has the rear camera. So change it to video mode. Which records in HD video with autofocus. So if I was to start recording, you can record using a tap to focus. So I tap to record in the settings, touch capture, or you can just use the camera button on top here. So we can use that. And if I bring my phone here, you'll notice that it does autofocus, which is great. So that means you can record video and focus accordingly, but it doesn't seem to be able to do tap to focus in video mode. For the camera, it's the same thing. I think you have to, there's no touch to focus, but you can half press to focus it and then take a picture. And as you can see, there's actually also the flash which you can, which you can turn off or on accordingly. Obviously, you also had a front facing camera. You can see here, me recording. So, here we have flash working on this device. It's a 3 inch screen, so it's a bit small, but it's doable. So, at the end of the day, it's a great budget Android device. It's a 1 gigahertz processor, it has a GPU as well, so you can play games, 512 megabytes of RAM. Seemingly great 5 megapixel camera as well as a front facing camera. Ability to play 720p video, slide up keyboard. Overall, a great budget device by Sony Ericsson. So you can get one here at Incom for 
eight online. I think three nine eight. Three nine eight is cash price or uh, credit card price? Our showroom. Showroom price is three nine eight. Five percent discount. Five percent discount. Yes, but, yeah, so they have a slight different interface that they Sony has customized. Few applications that come with it, such as WhatsApp, Evernote. That's interesting. But I believe you should be able to uninstall them accordingly. I've installed a few apps, but yeah, this is a great budget device that I'll highly recommend anybody get. So that's all for now. Sony Xperia X Mini Pro. Thanks for watching, guys.